All right, y'all, back again for another video. It's your boy. Today's video should be a little short, just a little short, informative, hopefully helpful video for y'all. Maybe that's new to trucking, trying to get into it, or maybe just struggling with it. Uh, I'm gonna do a video today on an ELD, or better yet, a Qualcomm. And I'm gonna give y'all just a little short explanation, at least, of how your hours work. So let's get it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna learn how your clock works and you're gonna really just get an understanding for what you're working with. So truckers, we run off of four clocks, as you can see here. We run off of four clocks. You got your eight hour clock, your 11 hour clock, your 14 and your 70 hour clock. You can do anything regarding to on duty. On duty means working. You can work up to 14 hours a day. After that 14, you must take a 10 hour break to get any type of time back. So 10 plus 14 is 24 hours. Your clock is based off of a 24 hour period. All right, so let's take a quick overview. You got your 70 hour that basically tells you that you can only work 70 hours in a week. Your 14 tells you that you can only work 14 hours a day. You only get up to, you can only drive 11 hours a day, but before you get your full 11 hour drive time, within the first eight hours of you driving, you need to take a 30, you have to take a 30 minute break in order to get time back on your clock to finish driving your 11 hours. So let me add in real quick how the clocks work, like what they actually do. So your 70 hour clock, it will stop. You can stop this 70 hour clock. The only way this 70 hour clock stops is if you go to off duty and if you go to sleep or birth. All right. Now your eight, 11 and your 14, they kind of together, but they kind of together in a way. So let's think about it. When you start your clock at the, at the very beginning of your day, this is going to automatically go to like 759 and it's going to count down. Once you take that 30 minute break, whatever is left on your 11, that's what you will get back on your clock. Now this 14, this 14 can come with some scenarios. This 14 is going to run quick as you start your clock, whether it be on duty, off duty, it don't matter. This 14 rolling. It's 14 rolling all day long. All right, so now that we got an understanding, let's talk about drive time and let's talk about your first eight hours. So as you can see, you get 11 hours of driving time each day. So at the max, you can only drive up to 11 hours, period. Now, before you get your full 11 hours, you're going to have your first eight which I still have because my clock just reset. So before you get your full 11 hours, you're gonna get your first eight. Before the end of this first eight hours, you, ha you have to take a 30 minute break. You got to, it's mandatory. You got to take a 30 minute break. So say for example, you drove exactly eight hours. You took your 30 minute break, you should get three hours back on this clock. So instead of saying eight, it should say three, right? So then you'll get three hours back for your drive time for the rest of the day. That's on a good day. So let me, let me, let me throw a scenario in here. All right, what up with y'all? Uh, it's the next day. I'm pretty much done for the day. My load not even here on the yard yet, but I want to go ahead and show y'all how, how I was getting ready to talk about with the 14. Really just wanted to show y'all my clock, what it looks like in the middle of being ran. So let's take a look. I know some can say, well, you, you got eight hours right here. The only reason I have eight hours is because I've been in the sleeper. Once I got to the yard, I took a shower. Actually, when I got to the yard, the reason why my 14, when I got to the yard, the reason why my 14 caught up to my drive time was because I hopped out went in there went in there and took a shower caught up and ate up and started eating into my drive time 
And that's what I was telling y'all that that 14, you, when it comes down to it, you gonna only get what's on your 14 to drive. That's all I got to drive. And you see how it's going down? It's just gonna continue to go down all day long. It's gonna continue to go down until that three hours and 26 minutes is up. And I'll get all of my time back once this says 10 hours. So listen, that 14, the way I use it, that 14 is for if you get somewhere and you have to sit. So basically I would not, I don't start my clock until I'm ready to real deal roll. See what I'm talking about? I don't start my clock till I'm ready to roll, till everything is good to go like Tom back. If I can do that, sometimes you can't do that. You wanna stay legal. So now you probably looking like, well, if the clock gonna run regardless, what's the use of the different statuses? Well, the statuses are to show, really, it shows you doing work, for lack of better terms. The statuses show you doing work. But the statuses is for you in this 70. Once that 14, I mean, like I said, once you start your day, your day has started. Ain't nothing going to stop. Ain't nothing going to stop that time. Nothing going to stop. It. But what you can stop is your 70. Don't sit somewhere on somebody dock on duty five hours. You gonna, you done lost that five hours for your whole week, thug. You might need that five hours to get your tail in back home. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you take the time to when you off duty, when you ain't doing nothing off duty, if, if you want to, you off duty and sleeper. Those are the only ones that'll stop that 70. And you want to save your 70 because you never know what type of jam you may get in. Hey, you might need to get home. You want to save that 70. That 70 will keep you rolling. Long as it's time on that 70, you can roll. So next question, what is a 10? So what? is a 10 a 10 hour break is what gives you your 8 your 11 and your 14 hour back the only time you won't get back on a 10 is for your 70 once you take a 10 hour break it has to be consecutive 10 hours straight it, it can either be 10 hours off duty 10 hours sleeper birth consecutive do you get time back your question is do you get time back on your 70 the only way to get time back on your 70 to reset your whole week with the next week say for example when a trucker get home again you can either go off duty or sleeper but it has, instead of 10 hours it has to be 34 consecutive hours no breaks like it has to be 34 consecutive hours of rest for you to get everything back. You'll get your eight, your 11, your 14, and your 70. So you'll have a full clock ready for the next week. That's the only way to get time back. Once time is gone, I guarantee you, you cannot get it back. That's like, that was like the most surreal thing that I had to realize when I started trucking like, bro, for real, for real, you can't get time back. So you got to use it wisely. You got to be thinking. You got to be conscious of it, for real. So that's the only way to get time back is 10 and the 34. The only ways you get time back. All right, y'all. I kind of been watching, editing, adding, watching, editing, adding. I just didn't want to miss nothing. And I really didn't want to do more harm than good by not being clear or being confusing or something like that so i just wanted to make sure i ain't missing that i wanted to try to do the best i could i hope i explained everything the best that i could like i said i don't claim to know everything all you know that whole now y'all i'm just me so uh that being said if the video was helpful if it did kind of give you a better understanding uh, give me a thumbs up leave some comments uh, if you got a shorter way to explain it put it in the comments help everybody out uh, other than that 
I'm at. I'm finna eat. And, uh, finna go to sleep. Cause now my load here. So I'm finna get the paperwork for it. And uh, I'll catch y'all next time with another one. You understand me? Yeah.